What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz back again with a part three, the thrilling conclusion to the uh, Slime 2 trilogy of set review. Um, today I'm joined with Carmen, as usual. What's up? Uh, and then we have special guests, slime enthusiasts, John and Brittany. Yo. Hey. Um, yep. If you haven't seen uh, our set review for Yellow or Red, slime two. go check those out um and i'm all, without further ado i think we can hop right into these blue cards uh first off we got this shizu she's a double rare when this card attacks she's one of your other demon continents um and that character gets 500 times the number of your other demon continents so shimakai right? uh a little power pump and then during your opponent's turn when this card gets reversed in battle you can pay one Rest this, and then the beginning of your next Encore step, send this to memory. This card is pretty phenomenal. I, I played a little bit against it today. I was jamming some games with Dan, and he was playing this card in his slime deck. I like it. And um, it is a very good level zero. Um, there was a card like this in Red we talked about, too, where it was like, when it dies, you can pay one, save it, and then next turn it dies. Yeah, so like that was a level pay one. one. Yeah, pay one on court just for the turn. But uh, this is like the ultimate version of that. Um, since it goes to memory instead of graveyard. So that's really, really good for memory compression. Yeah, this and, is uh, seems insane, honestly. Yeah, e even if you crash this too, um, which I didn't realize at first, if you crash this in and it gets reversed and dies, it, it triggers the beginning of on court step. So you can crash it in the second time and it will still pop to memory. Yeah, I, I I think the current slime deck as it exists, like this just replaces the tech of the the old man Shimakai, um, and you you might up it to like two copies instead, uh, but like in that deck you don't have the space for it, but I think in some of the other builds you probably have the space to run a lot of it, uh, and would you would make space because like your your winning board you're playing a little bit more traditionally, you're not like going into the like with the new com Shizu combo, we'll talk about in a bit here. But um, yeah, this card's definitely good. I'm a fan. I think it's like a easy like B plus, maybe A minus. I think it's probably like A minus. It it felt very very strong playing against it. Well, you also played the the fever pseudo fever into it too, which is an important note about this card. This card does just fuck pseudo fever over. Uh, if you have an encore step like plus where your card has to win its lane, um, this card completely screws that over and gives your opponent another attacker for the next turn, which is pretty cool. Uh, with Dal, if people are playing book, that's like the big one. Dal book combo. All you persona players out there with your jokers. Yeah, screws over. Not Joker. looking so cool. Yeah, not looking cool, Joker. Not anymore. All right, we screwed up the order. So it's John's turn. Great. Well, we got Zero Zero Rimuru. Uh, when he's placed in the hand of the stage, top card of the library. If it's, a, if it's a character, plus one level, 1500 for the turn. And that opponent becomes reversed. She's one of your other Demon Connor characters. Rest it, move to empty slot of the back row. Good old clean cut. Yep, Rem clean cut. Yeah. One of the better profiles. Um... If you're playing events, it has like some inconsistency, but I don't think that matters. Uh, it holds its value into the late game that reveals top and it swings at a big number. But like it can even swing over like bombs and stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's just a good clean cut. Yeah, it just seems strong. Generate stock. If you're playing more aggressive, if you're playing a more normal game, you, yeah, it's probably, it's just an A tier card. Just a good clean cut. Just in general, like, um, I think Rem Clean Cut's, like, probably the best profile for it. Like, getting the level and the is yeah. so good. The the only uh, profile better than Rem is Nemu, which is the one where it's the same benefit, but the only thing you have to have is another character on board. But the reveal top mm -hmm. is also good. So, like, I know. suppose. I, this doesn't hit on events, though, which Slime is yeah. very event-heavy. Usually, so that could be maybe a little bit of an issue, but you're probably fine. Yeah, it's probably okay. 
All right, next, Brittany. All right, so we have this 3 2 Shizu. When this is placed from hand to stage, search for one demon cottony character, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle. And then climax combo when this attacks, if ruler of explosions is there, and you have four or more cards in memory, deal four damage, and at the beginning of your encore step, place this in your waiting room. Huh. Explodes. Yeah. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> good flavor. I, I don't think it's a good card, but... Yeah, like, it's, like, cute, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing, like, Shizu waifu only, like, this is... It's definitely, it's just a free last shot. Just free last shot. Just free burn four. Because, like, you're definitely hitting memory if you're playing, like, Jizu and Mask. Yeah. That's yeah. not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I don't know if Free Burn 4 is even good enough to play. But I do like the cantrip. I do like the selective search. That lets you that lets you set up multiples of these too. So you play this, you get another one, play it, get another one, play it. You have triple last shot. Yeah. You do. Um I, I like that it's all on attack. It's no reverse. Um Clears itself from the field, so your opponent can't get their reverses. I think that's a. I think these days that's a that's a negative because everything's on attack. But I don't know. Maybe I suppose. It... I mean, if you are memory compressing that much, though, like yeah, you're hopefully okay with your you live. Swing. Huh? Yeah, I mean, like you're probably fine if you're that compressed. Yeah. But. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like it actually. Um, don't know if this would be like the finisher of choice. Uh, probably not. But I, I could definitely see someone trying it out. It seems like it uh, has a lot of potential. Very strong. You have to do Actually, something like else. Different. Yeah. Run you... something else with it. Yeah, I think it's fine. Like it's not it's nothing like super crazy, of course, but I think it's like good enough to like warrant at least trying out. Uh, you know, deck. I'm gonna put this in John. Oh no! If you have three events in memory. Oh my god! Don't you talk only about need one more. Don't talk about Caribus anymore. Next. All right. Uh. There's a level zero remove. If there's a marker under this, it gains 2,000 power. Place from end to stage, real top card. If it is a demon continent character or an anti demon mask, you may place this card face down under this as a marker. It is a uh, 4K Futaba, but it hits on mask. You want to play a plus and zero, like an oversized, and you play mask, you play this card. Pretty good. Seems fine. Yeah, it seems good. Totally okay. Super playable card. Nothing to see here. <laughs> kind of boring. Yeah. Good, good value later in the game, too, giving you, like, a collective scry. Yeah. Usually we mention that when we get to these sort of, like, Futaba cards. Yeah, it's, I guess it's been a while. Seen one, so. Yeah, the marker is optional, so. Always important. Alright, back to Andy. Alright, um, we got, uh, the Shizu. Um, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, whatever, they look the same. Uh, when this is reversed in battle, you can pay one and discard a demon continent and send this card to your memory. Uh, if you do look at two cards from the top of your deck, choose one of them, add it to your hand. It can be any any one of the two. Um, another uh, selective hand filter, I guess, right? You get to turn this card into anything on the top few of your deck. It can be a climax, can be an event, can be anything. I don't usually like but, these. Uh, but I, I don't usually like these, but uh, I think the top two of your deck isn't enough to pay drop drop search, drop salvage cost. But if you're super invested in memory, where this is just another card that goes to memory, maybe it's worth playing. Because it can get you into events, even if they're in the top two. Like if you're playing the, what is it, the sword? This is probably a better card to play 
if you want to resolve more swords than playing the bonder to the sword itself. This is probably a better card to be playing. Because you're obviously investing a lot of memory already. But like, maybe. Because like, this is drop salvage cost for the top two of your deck. Like, pretty inefficient when you think of it that way. Yeah, I think this is yeah. definitely just like, just like going memory ham. Like, that you can like jam this in, but if not, then it is like super expensive. Yeah, it does get to attack. It is on reverse, so it's a little better. But that that is nice. I guess you know. I mean, the same argument for like you're going all in on memory, so play this because yeah, yeah. it goes to memory. Um, like, you could also argue that that's kind of like diminishing returns, though. Too, you have so much. Most of your other cards that go to memory are going to do so in a more cost efficient manner than this card. So. Why why play the first copy of this over say the first copy of the uh the uh, Shizu that was the first card you looked at? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to hard to justify, but card's probably fine. Give it a C plus just because it's like in a memory focused set. I think it has its place. Just it's got to be hard to fix. It say it says go to memory and it does something useful. True. There's like a floor for how good or bad those cards can be. All right, John. Get the cool card. Cool. Get the new climax combo. So it's a one o shizu, uh, recollection for each crystal wisdom, which is the sword, correct? Yeah. Uh, this one k power. And the climax combo is you discard a card from the hand of the waiting room. When this attacks, so you got the cx. Uh, Oh, if not a bad slime is in your waiting room and you have two or more other demon Connor characters, look it up the four cards from the top of your library. Choose up the one character, show it to your opponent, put in your hand, put everything else in the waiting room. And you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of those swords from your waiting room, put it in your hand. So I think that's just mis like Hotsy mistranslated. Yeah. That's the climax, is in your climax area. So let's let me fix that. Yeah, I was about to say, this is a climax yeah, combo so... for the grave. It's a Mogoro, and then after you Mogoro, you can discard any card to bond the event. Yeah, um, this is super interesting to me. Yeah. Because uh, she's going to be gigantic, because of just one sword in there, that she gets, that'll be 1,500 from the event alone. And if you have two in there, she's going to be gigantic. She'll get over anything in the world at level one. I think if you're playing into a standby meta and you want to play Global Soul and, like, win board, this is really cool. Because, like, you can pop out at, what, like, uh, 10k before Climax? Yeah, 11k? Plus 6K. Yeah. And it's Mogro. How quickly can you, like, how quickly can you get those in your memory, though? Um... I, I guess is the other thing. Because these get... They, the event gives 500... During your turn to everything. So these are getting net 1500 for each event. Each event, yeah. And then they'll sit so big cross two, turn. Two events gets this to 7k swinging at 8k. And then they would be sitting at 6k to defend. And Seems if you find X combo once with it, you can get your additional copies of the event so that you can get even bigger power next turn. It's worth noting that these sword events, um, when you play them, they do dig you closer into like hitting brainstorms and stuff too. So like looping your combo is um, sort of baked in a little bit. Some cool synergy there. Because they remove a card from the top of your deck to get you closer to a climax. Yeah, I, I think I really like this. I'm definitely going to mess around with this a lot. Um, yeah, I want to play this combo. Just the fact that you get so large and then you just you just cycle and get so much value from it. It seems like a lot of good text on the card. Big on attack, like defendable big on attack climax combos are just really good because they don't punish you for winning board because you can always just combo again. Uh, unlike like big on reverse combos. Yeah, exactly. Like the the old one Oshizu, that's a seven K on attacking, but it's still it's a four K on defense, but that's a different thing. Yeah, that card you want it to die so that it can go to memory and enable your other stuff. Playing this would like turn off a bunch of other 
stuff that you wouldn't be able to play, and like you probably still want to play Mask. Like you're playing a ton of events and stuff like that, but it's probably worth messing with. Yeah, you would you yeah. definitely run four swords. You probably run Mass and the Chloe's and the whole package. So you have like a twenty card package minimum if you're running this whole stuff. But it might be worth it. Right, it'd be something to try. I've seen Dan play it. It seems pretty decent. Um, I got I got to be honest. I, I I don't I don't like it as much as you guys do. I um. I like the Mogoro part of it. I'm a big fan of Mogoros. Um but the kind of being forced into running the Crystal of Wisdom events um is no bueno for me. I'm I don't think the uh Crystal events very good. Uh, I don't think 500 sword. power I don't think 500 power on your turn is worth the deck spots of running that event card. It, it's hard um, to justify the top check ones. I think um, if this would have been photos, like the Summer Pockets version, I think it would have been a lot, lot better. But uh, yeah, the top of deck it, ones aren't that great. The top check one just doesn't seem like the whole package is worth it. For me, like, like I think personally, if if I wanted to run a pants combo at level one, I'd just rather have the old Shizu that goes to memory for free, uh, rather than having to like pay one to put this event card in memory. But like, like John was saying, it, it hits like a fucking truck. It gets massive, so that that is definitely something to consider. Like, it also lets you loop. Yeah. It lets you use your filtering tools to loop, which slime couldn't do before because the combo deleted itself from deck. So, I don't know. It's an interesting angle. I think I'm in line with John, actually. I think it's a... Uh, definitely want to pick, fuck with this card. Alright. Next. Uh, uh, yep. You've got this Ranga, 1-1. One, one. When this becomes reversed, if the level uh, of this is higher, you may put that character at the bottom of their deck. Um, Dekadachi? Yep. Your normal Adachi. So now they have two. They have a yellow one and they got a blue one. It's fine. This is the new standard of anti-change. Uh, better against standby. You're in blue at level one. You play this one. So this probably gets like in the old deck. <laughs> you just immediately replace it. With this because it's on color, yep. yeah. yeah. It's like, didn't the uh the yellow one do some other effect too? Didn't it like? Nope. The other one's forty five and it's stock. This one's bottom deck. So this one's thought just it, probably better. Got it like minus five hundred their field or something. No, that's a level zero. Same character but different card. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next card. Uh, wow. You know what this looks suspiciously similar to? A box topper promo from set one. They have almost the exact same art. I'm not kidding. You can look it up. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the same shot, different frames. Um, slightly different levels of smile. Pretty lazy. <laughs> um, early play tier for your climaxes for each of your other Demon Continent characters gets 500 power, so 10 5. And then top check X. Uh, if you need it, you play it. It's a top check X that does literally anything else. So if you're hard up for top check X, you play the card. Otherwise, pretty useless. Are you are you hard up for top check X? You were saying before about like slime maybe wanting to have a can tripping level three. Maybe, but you have the mealum to get that you sack off to get into whatever you need. So I don't think you need this, but it's a cool option. I guess. I guess. It's okay. Yeah, I think I think it's just fine. Totally playable card, but you need to have a reason to play it. Uh Andy gets For the sure. spicy card. Ooh, spicy card. Ooh, what is the shift? Alright. Um when this attacks, if Thebes is in your climax zone, put the top two cards of your library into the waiting room, deal X to your opponent. Choose up to three cards in your opponent's waiting room, return them to their library, and your opponent shuffles. X equals the number of soul icons on 
cards you revealed this way. So on attack, mill two, shuffle, deal X to your opponent, shuffle, then shuffle three cards in their waiting room back. Yep. X equals the number, the, the damage you burn is equal to the number of the soul triggers you mill. And it, it looks like it counts soul trigger icons. So if yes. you hit a double soul card like this, it would count for two. Yes. And it has okay. shift level zero. And how does shift work again? You can um, so as long switch as this with a you, card in your you hand. You can always blue. switch it, yeah. So what they've started doing is like shift used to be the level of the card, but now they're just making everything shift level zero because they realize it doesn't matter. You okay, can always yeah. shift this card no matter where it is in your clock or when it goes into your clock. So you can kind of like just sculpt these into your hand as the game goes on. So you can hopefully yep. always. Uh, Triple combo. And what is that office? Is that a stock soul or is it like a. I want to say it's a stock soul. New age sort of combo. There's a lot of text to be a stock soul. I don't have another window open to be able to go get it. Stock soul does have a lot of text. But whatever. We'll assume it's stock soul. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, I can right. double check here. But, um. It looks fun. Yeah, I think it's fun. I don't think it's very good, but it's nope. pretty fun. <laughs> It'd be good to try. There's lots of there's lots of stuff in this new slime set that looks like it would just be fun to try. Yeah, some unique stuff, even if it's not super great. Yeah. I'll um I'll just give it the C. I I think it doesn't do anything else. Yeah, no, I that's why it's, it's bad. Uh, it doesn't do anything the else. climax is a um, it's like the red one. It's uh. On play, choose a character in your waiting room level equal to or lower than your level. Return it to hand. Mm. So you salvage something, your level or lower, and then give two characters a soul. Okay. I think it's... Um, I, I like the burn mixed with the shuffle three cards back to like decompress them. And it's cool that these can just like... You can sculpt these into your hand pretty easy to get like a big combo off at the end. I kind of like it. You just don't have uh, on play do anything abilities. Else on play. Yeah, that's that's the big thing for me. No on play abilities, no bueno. Alright, moving on. Alright, so we got good old zero zero. Um when he's played from the hand of the stage, you can discard a card from the hand of the waiting room. Reveal the top card of your library, choose one character of level X or lower in the waiting room and return it to the hand where X is the card you revealed. And has shift zero. Now on play Rico with shift zero, that I like. That is cool. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Yeah, I mean that's that's one of the best like free filters that you can get. Um, so the fact that it has shift just makes it even better. So uh like a pretty easy like C plus, maybe like a B minus. Pretty good card. So that is a good filter effect, and the fact yeah, that you have it on command with a shift is really yeah. Nice. I think it's probably like B minus, like lower B tier. I really like it. Pretty simple, but Just strong do it card. If you have to. All right, Brittany. Uh, let's see. We've got Rimuru, your other character in the front row center slot gains fifteen hundred, and then IMAX combo. Beginning of your encore step, you can pay the cost of placing the climax into the waiting room. So, put three cards from the top of your deck into your waiting room. Choose one level X or lower <laughs> demon continent character in your waiting room and return to hand. X equals the number of demon continent characters placed in the waiting room by this effect. Hey. They really don't want uh, Kirito combo to exist again, huh? They keep um, they keep making worse and worse versions of it. This is this is pretty bad, I think. Yeah, I don't like that you can only do it in one lane, since uh, you have to sacrifice the climax for it. Well, it's just a um, back row card, so it's like yeah, you can only do it once. But I, I guess it's a back row card that's like. 1500 power constant to center rows, like, not bad. 
They go okay, but I don't like these back row climax combo effects. They're it's usually cool pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah, other than that, it doesn't look really, like, usable, honestly. Oh, yeah, I'm no. not a fan. Alright, 1 0 Rimuru. Uh, ability activates up to once per turn when you use an act. It gains X power, 500 times your demon continent, and then you can uh, also act rest the demon continent character for the turn. This gets on reverse, you can bottom deck that character. I like the I like the startup power, but um, I, I just don't think you have the deck spots for this. No. Nope. No, yeah, you can't put that anywhere. This, like, goes in the stalker slot if you decide to play the stalker. And this, the, the, the stalker is a lot better than this card. Yeah, it's so, uh, on deck It's not the worst. It's like a D plus, and it's, like, whatever. Alright, back to Andy. Oh, we got my boy Gobta. Is that a blue-eyes white dragon chasing him? Basically. <laughs> it looks like it. Alright, uh, on attack, if you have the uh, Book Climax there in your zone, and another Demon Continent, look at up to four cards from the top of your deck, choose a level one or higher card, uh, reveal it to your opponent, uh, put it in your hand, the rest go to Waiting Room. Um, I don't know why you would play this card instead of the... Uh, it has a support the, uh, card. The, the other combo that we looked at earlier. This is a support card we should probably look at. Um, slide 81. Yeah, should I read the support card? Yeah, too, I guess. Ahead. All yeah. your other... This is Wolf. Uh, all your other Gobta combo cards get 1,000 power. Um, when he's placed on the field from hand, you can discard a Demon Continent character, search for the Gobta. So, so he... Uh, Bonds to Gobta from your deck. Play, and uh, you can rest him, give 1500 power to a character. So, you have this little, like, bond engine. Kind of reminds me of a Sword Art Alcization with, like, the uh, Kirito Magaro. Or the Yu-Gi-Oh! Magaro that had the uh, uh, Page Tiesa that bonded to it. Very okay. similar to that. But this is from deck, so... This is from deck. Um, also gives 1000 power cross turn. And can pump further fifteen on your turn. Um. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess I take back what I said before. I, I guess I could see a reason to play this over the. Uh, the same the sort of card. thing, like an on attack combo, that can sit pretty big, but this one isn't memory. It's uh. It's using this dog in the back. Huh? I f I feel kind of bad saying it, but I think I might prefer this over the uh. The double rare one that uses the event. If you don't like the event, this is this is better if you don't like the event. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming at it from. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. What do you think, John, Brittany? It seems, like, okay at best. Like, I guess you're right. If you don't want to run the event, this is fine, but... I don't know, dude. That seems... Oh, meh. Not bad. <laughs> I, yeah. I think the draw to it's the fact that you have the wolf that bonds to it, so it's more consistent to get them on your field, but... Yeah, if you're, like, only running that, but, like, think of that being, like, you're just doing mass with extra steps. Yeah, I guess Slime never really had a trouble, you know, triple comboing anyway, with I think, all, like, I think mass cheeses ruins and masks this. and all that, yeah. What yeah, you would like do you with this is you would, like, you would, like, use a mask, you would, like, Chloe... Okay, so here's, like, the high roll with this card, right? You Chloe okay. for mask, you mask for dog, dog for Gobta. You remove three cards from your deck. You do that three times, and then you're hyper compressed, and then you mill into it with your Mogger and you ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you could theoretically remove a lot of cards from your deck with this. Yeah, you, you know a lot. You know what else you could do, though, too? Instead. It you don't have to mask for your level 1 combo anymore, right? Like, the dog no. gives you additional access to the level 1, so you can maybe use your masks on other things. Yeah. 
You still have to commit spots for like this though. Like that's why it's like almost like weird. If you if you consider the dogs to be functional extra copies of mask for your level one combo, that frees up your mask to search other things. Because you have your dog mask and then you have your real mask. I I mean, yeah, like it, I think it's like I think like at, at most it's okay. Like I don't think it's anything super special. Like I don't. I mean, if you're like talking like in the previous deck or the other sheets, you have no clue why you play this thing over that. I think these are. Pretty yeah, good. that's a good point too. You could just play the. Uh, you just could play normal Shizu. I played a similar OG thing Shizu. in Summer Pockets with the Owl that has these deck bonders. These deck bonders are really good for consistency, but you are slime. You do have mask, so it's uh, it's not as good. Because you can do it for any card. But uh, I, I think Gob is probably fine. I'm probably closer to Andy, actually. I think it's closer to, like, a B-. I think it's okay. John kind of, like, rained on my parade there, though. He, he had to bring up Old Shizu. Old Shizu is pretty good. Old Shizu's just probably better than this, and then you get to run the good early play. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, the, the issue is, like, looking at a lot of these cards, especially, like, something like this, looking at a vacuum, they look great, but then you have to think of, like, the entire set. The set yeah. one stuff was pretty popping. Yeah, slime was pretty good. Just a little bit. All right. Who's anyway, this? It's me. Okay. So we got a good old two on counter here. So um, when you use the backup of this, you may pay the cost, which is put a demon counter character in the stage of the waiting room. If so, choose one of your opponent's characters, and for the rest of the turn, they get minus one soul. Damn, they just have all the good like backup profiles. They just have all the options. They, they, the only thing they don't have is free fresh. They have everything else. They got memory kick. They got minus yeah. one soul with sack. They got anti change. They got uh, the repeatable. They got Leafa. Two different Leafas. Slime's got it all. They have every like backup profile except free fresh. These can be really Aww. good depending depending on your meta. Because like a sack counter for a cheap enough cost could be worth playing. Depending Straight on your up, local meta. Power crapped. They used to print this effect on backups, but it it had to be like level two or higher characters. Couldn't just be anything. You. Yeah, now you sack Mega anything. Soul too. Um. Seems yeah, fine. I guess kind of like same spot as Alifa. It's fine. Yep. Okay. B for backup. Uh, go ahead, Brittany. All right, so you have two or more crystal wisdom and memory. This gains assist all characters in front of this gain with 1500 power. This is placed from hand to stage. You can choose a Shizu destined person in your waiting room and put it into your stock. And then also discard a climax from your hand to waiting room when you play it to stage, and you can get a demon continent character in your waiting room. Hmm. I'm coming. I'm coming around on the whole level one combo. Oh, I'm liking this. This is interesting. I mean, I think this makes, makes your the, stuff tank the other even combo harder. A lot more. I think this makes the other combo a lot more playable. The uh, level one. I think it was combo. already playable, but this makes it relevant into level two. Yeah, and this like replaces the old uh, two one assist. I love that it gives something. you your stock back, too. Yeah, it does. That's pretty good. Plays for free, which is uh, important when you're playing a bunch of these events. And Frontal 15, it's not a level assist, it's just Frontal 15, so if you are going for the level 1 Shizu combo again, it's going to further pump that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. Yeah, I'm liking. Yeah, you just bam, yeah. you get the cheeses back in stock, you pay them out, you can filter. You're playing that deck, so... Yeah, it's like a good card, but I think it's only when you're playing that combo, so... D plus. Uh, yeah, definitely. Alright, uh, we got Gobta, 2-1. All your characters are Demon Continent. This gains a thousand, so he's an eight-five, and then he has Stand and Swap. Uh, ugh. pretty shit. Pretty booty. <laughs> mm. 
Is this like supposed to be Gobta when he's like a grown ass adult? This is the Chad Gobta. The Chad Gobta? <laughs> he has like a D plus. dad bod Gobta. Look maybe, at his fucking khakis, dude. <laughs> maybe there's something <laughs> in your standby. Maybe there's something in your standby meta that um you want to stand and swap out at level two, but uh, like whatever. It's not good enough. Yeah, it just seems like whack. Oh, the khakis, though. Oh, my God. All right, Andy, you got Angry Dog. Very nice. All right, we got Angry Ranga. Two or more Shion Cool Beauty in your waiting room. Uh, minus a level in hand. And uh, when you play this, you can, from hand, you can pay one, choose a Shion in your waiting room, put it on any slot of the stage. So you right. just pay one, summon the Shion. It doesn't change. It actually summons it. Yeah, I um, oh, okay. I hate this early play condition. Yeah, uh, it's I'm not, so not a, dumb. Not a huge fan of the early play condition, but when we were reading the um, uh, Shion originally, I, I was thinking it was a change effect, like the Ranga changed into the Shion, but it's actually like a summoner, like a yeah, you get two bonds. Yeah, and uh. I gotta refresh myself what the uh, Shion does again. Like a 14 she is a, um She gets 4,500 and turns off backups. Oh, and then uh, on attack, you can pay one discard to heal. Every turn. Yeah. The, the only big thing, like, this would be so good if you didn't have to have two in your waiting room. That you feels like force so versus awful. You can't just tech it. You have to run, like... Yeah. A lot of copies. Yeah, like it's like, it like it, can you realistically like count on that? It, like it's so rough. Like if you're gonna try to run this, because I really want this to work. It seems like a great way to like consistently heal. Like you just keep ditching your hand, screw it, just heal forever. But it's gonna be rough. <laughs> you, I do you, not you like also it. gotta keep in mind you're getting. It's like Chica Yo from Sunshine. You're paying three stock total to get two. Big level threes on field well, to attack. You with. do that already in slime, and they also heal twice. Yep. But you're not plussing off that though. You're actually you're not plussing off this either. You, you mean this is a plus? Uh, the first part is a plus, but then you pay one ditch a card to heal. Where so it's actually That's the true. same. You don't you don't have to do that. No, no, no it's actually guess, one card. Yeah. It's one card worse. It's it's one stock worse actually. Because that's overall pay four, but well, the I mean, card does attack. I mean... The card does attack. So it's like whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan. And they're probably not going to hit over the Shizu. I mean the Shion because it's a uh, turns off backups and sits at fourteen something, fourteen five. It's fine. I don't like the angry dog. You do kind of have to go all in on it, but I don't know. I could I could see it working. I think it's gonna. I, I, I don't know. Angry dog. Someone else can figure it out. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Next. All right, we got our good old zero zero five hundred here. Um, so when your character trigger check reveals a climax with two soul triggers, and you pay the cost, which is discarding a character from your hand, uh, you choose a character in your waiting room, return it to your hand, so it's salvage. And it's also a flip five brainstormer for each climax that has a two soul trigger icon on it. You uh, search. Yeah, I assume it wasn't spammable. That'd be no. <laughs> so this is what you play in the deck with the Zoe finisher. Yeah, just uh, jam two souls and get there. Gives you Easy. gives you a five card brainstorm. What's your other two soul climax you run? Who knows? The union. Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want. I think there's something from set one you can play. Or you just yeah, play a, a two like soul. Two yeah. You just do I mean, something funny. It's fun. Yeah, I think. In that deck, you play it. Yeah, I think this is just a four fun yeah. card. I mean, it seems like a cool, a cool payoff card for that archetype, though, I guess. A nice five card brainstorm with a good filter effect. We already talked about dog. So we can just give Dog the same score we gave Gob to. 
Okay. All right. And then Brittany, you can just read this Shizu. All right. So Shizu is uh, assist characters in front, and then pay one, discard a card, and rest this. Search your, uh, search your deck for one Demon Continent character. Hmm. Repeatable job search. Um, don't think it's good. I don't think so. Uh, don't think a repeatable drop search is what you want. Doesn't plus you. Probably not. Don't think it's worth a deck slot. I don't think you need yeah. any form of drop search when you have mask. Yeah, if, you if, you you wanna, if, if you'd want to run this card, I think you'd rather just run the uh, slime given the number three. Probably. For my yellow. That will at least plus you every other. I'd rather pl hard plus every other turn than drop search every turn. Yeah, this is probably doesn't have a place. Yeah. All right, we got this guy. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, on play, <laughs> mill two. This gains a thousand times the number of characters you mill. It could be a four K. Then he has pay one sack this as an oh, act. No. <laughs> Add the disaster great yokai vortex. Oh no! <laughs> so he had to pay one sack him. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, that's like the worst. That's like literally the worst cost they could have with that event. Yep. Yeah, it's oh, garbage. Jesus. Yes. I guess he can clean cut him. <laughs> you can oh, clean terrible. cut him. That's so fucking bad. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're playing that theoretical deck, you're probably playing clean cut, so probably fine. That uh, when, when I brew that theoretical deck and make it a, a reality, there will be four copies of this card, and there will be zero copies of this werewolf man. This card is disgustingly bad. <laughs> All right. Next. We're back to me. Uh, is this, like, is this Shizu? No. Dragon Different. Shizu? Different character. Oh, okay. Dragon Girl. When this is placed from uh, your hand to stage, reveal top card of your deck. If it is a demon continent, choose one of your characters, give it 2,000 power, and uh, place from hand to stage. You may choose the bottom card of your clock and a demon continent character in your waiting room and swap them. Um, see that being useful if you're playing uh, some sort of early, like the, I know the one early play in yellow had like a clock condition you need to meet, getting your brainstormer in your uh, clock, so they can help you fix you for a clock condition, but um, don't think any of those cards with clock conditions are good enough to be playing. You can use this as a so, shift, right? Huh? You can use this as a shift, right? Yeah, you could use it with shift. That seems like well, shift shift okay. only triggers the start of main phase though. Oh, word! Ooh. Yeah, it, yeah, it is start of main phase. But but you could that is a good point though, John. You could set it up for next turn, just like on play, put the shift card you want in there for next turn. It at least reveals the top card of your deck. And it is a uh, right. interesting way you could like it. You could like clock a climax and then like get it out of your clock immediately. <laughs> Card but, sucks. uh, don't think I'd play it. Yeah, no. Not very good. All right. John. All right. Yeah, let's go to one one here. At the beginning of your climax phase, choose one of your characters. And for the turn, it games of the following ability. It is this game's X power, where X is the soul of this character times 1500. Also has uh, two and rest this. Choose one of your opponent's characters and bounce it to their hand. And also two and rest this, choose one of your opponent's characters, and it gets minus one level for the turn. The last one's pay one. I don't know why it uh, came across as pay two. I mean, it's pay two to bounce is kind of neat, I guess. That's like what? That's tempo neutral with your opponent, right? They play two for their early play. You pay two to bounce it. Yep. Uh, I really don't like that cost. The first effect's interesting to me, though. 
um, giving the continuous effect to get power equal to soul. So if you have ways to like increase the soul of your character, whether it be playing a climax that gives a soul, or I don't know if slime has any cards that will like increase the soul of like your other characters or whatever. But uh, the 1500 will Doesn't scale. Does that work with triggers? Up. If it does, and that's the it point. would work with triggers, yes. Yeah, because yeah. it's all the same guy, right? So you just want to jam two yeah. souls and just go ham. Yeah, this goes in your yeah. eight two soul trigger deck. This is gonna be the best I got of slime. Just you wait. Seems seems. Well, that's probably like a D plus. Doesn't seem like a great card. No, it seems like you just use it for that, and that's really it. All right, we're almost there. We're almost done. We're almost free. <laughs> Uh, this is you, Brittany. Yeah. Uh, discard a card from your hand to the waiting room. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay the cost of said to the Carrion Lion King in your waiting room and return it to your hand. And then when this becomes reversed, if the cost is a uh, level zero or the cost is zero or lower, you can put that character to the bottom deck. Bottom deck is cost zero. And yeah, he bonds to himself. Yeah. He he is carrying Lion King. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can like try to bottom deck their whole field. Pretty sick. Uh, uh, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's whack. Not a fan. Oh. Pretty whatever. I like the stock bomb that had two soul. Better than this current. This is this is real bad. If if you want to even get used to the bond effect, you have to run four copies. Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> um, we got Gabiru, uh, with wings this time. Uh, when he attacks, he gets a thousand times your other, so he could be eleven k. Then he has hand on core, like actual fucking trash. <laughs> just like <laughs> just like straight up garbage, unplayable back filler card. <laughs> All right. Um, back to Andy. All right. Uh, room full of pizza boxes. Uh, yeah, this is the event we talked about earlier that combos yeah. with the uh, level one combo. Uh, you pay one, you put this in your memory, and uh, reveal top card of your deck. If it's a character or event card, you get to draw it. So it goes one for one with the top card of your deck, um, and then recollection on your turn. Uh, for the rest of the game, uh, your field gets 500 power for each of these in your memory, on your turn only. So ideally, you play this with your level 1 combo, you get multiple of these in your memory, uh, which also has a bonus effect of pumping your level 1 combo further, so your level 1 combo gets extraordinarily big. But one stock is a lot to pay for a filtering effect like that, so... I, I guess they're they're lucky. There's uh, other synergies with this card, other ways to bond to it with the level one combo, and I, there's a two one assist that works off it as well. You think it's yeah. worth rating this just like on its own? I mean, if you're mm -hmm. gonna run this, you're only running. I mean, I guess the, it is thing, right? only when you're running on the other shit. So it's like it's a be solidly playable because it has other stuff around it, but in a, in a vacuum, it's pretty bad. It's like a D minus on its own. It's like I hate these effects too, but because you use climax combo with it, it has like merit. Yeah. Yeah. I All don't right. think I'd run it if I wasn't playing the combo. Last one, yeah. John. Take us home. Great. Remove finally getting the girl. It's a two two event. Choose two cards in your level. Return them to your hand. Choose two total cards from your hand in our waiting room. Put them in your level in any order. If you have stuff stuck in your level zone, great. You can pay two stock to get it back. Uh, this is pretty fact, useless, right? Yep. Yeah, useless. It's not a card. Like straight up, straight up useless. There's no experience. I bet there's like some standard combo that's like disgusting with this. Sure. Wow. Like fake format. Milky Holmes. This trips Milky Holmes. Uh, level effects. You can put two climax into level. Whoa. Broken. Maybe in slime three. All right. Uh, box topper lightning round, real quick. Gonna read them. Uh, we'll quick score. 
Uh, two one Shion. If you have another level three or higher character, it gains four K. If you have two or more other Demon Continent characters, it gains three K. Uh, so it is a eight K and then a twelve K. That's fine. You have another eight K then twelve K. That's ah, uh, this is lightning round. I'm not going to think too hard about it. It's got potential. Level zero Rimuru. Uh, on play, pay one. Search your library for up to this. Put it any slot on the stage. Uh, only from hand, so he can only summon one dupe. When you play him, search your library for another copy of himself. That's going to be an expensive box topper. Maybe. It's not very playable. Yep. It is a plus one. It is a pay one plus, but for another copy of a 2500. 1-0, uh, Milam. Uh, on attack, choose one of the other demon cotton characters. It's a fucking Shimakai. Vanilla Shimakai. It's fine. Uh, whatever, they're boring. I mean, you gotta remember that the, um... Oh, yeah, that other thing is A really good yeah, level right. zero that goes to memory. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, yeah, this card's shit. Whatever. Uh, 2-1 Shuna, when your other battling character comes reversed, give, uh, 2,000 power somewhere else. The spammable salvage brainstorm. This is a 2-1. <laughs> uh... You could stand this by, maybe. I do not like this. Uh, Alright, last maybe. one. Shizu, when damage dealt by this card is not cancelled, gains 6k. I actually kind of like these. I, I kind of like these, actually. <laughs> it's they cute. They can actually get over stuff. It's very cute, so it's dust plus in my books. Yep, it's, yeah. it's a cute looking card and a cute effect. All right, the true last card, it's Mask. A Mask reprint, double, triple S plus. What Blind. is happening in this card? Is he taking, is he ripping her mask off? Uh, Rude. He's, he's trying to, and I think he explodes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah don't Ma you. Mask got a reprint <laughs> as a box topper. Yeah. Unfortunately, Chloe did not get a reprint, so... um. Oh, wait, is this a box topper? Yeah, it's a box topper. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Um, that was Slime. John, Brittany, thank you guys for being on. We hope to for sure. have you guys on again in the future. Uh, is there any, like, finishing thoughts we want to go over? Um... Looks like it's eight standby, and then um, a new deck with uh, either the choice stuff, where you play like some amount of choice, or you play the new pants stuff and some old finisher of your choice, because you can't really mix the choice finisher very well. So there's like an all in on the new. Couldn't you? I, I think you could may maybe use the choice maybe. finisher with because uh, the choice finisher just needs copies of itself. Like I'm, I'm thinking. Eight standby, or it's going to be like one of the pants combos, either the Shizu from set one or the uh, new Shizu with the event from, and then some finisher, two, and then the uh, choice Shizu finisher, the one that like summons another copy of itself, the restander, the pseudo restander, or I guess you could use the gate from a uh, set one that people use. Yeah, and I don't even think it matters at that point. I think it'll be just one of one of the pants combos into a finisher or the eight standby deck. Yeah, that sounds about right. Eight standby looks pretty lit, though. I like that it, it doesn't. It looks super fun. It doesn't use like yeah. any of the other cards, so like you could like have two slime decks ready to go. That's the plan. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, if you're just getting into slime and you want to play, like a deck, um, what 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 should we get? What do we recommend? Chloe's. Masks, Chloe's masks, Chloe's and masks, Ricky's, Tempest, Rimuru, the uh, starter deck card, right? The, uh, yeah, climax oh, filter. Yeah. Pick up a trial deck, maybe. Pick up you some can. trial decks if you can, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, upcoming content. Did they like announce anything else? Well, th they announced a ton of stuff, but. In terms of new stuff, I think it's just we're we're up to seven deadly sins, right? There's nothing else. I don't think there's anything else we could go over. 
For set reviews, I don't think so. There's um when, whenever what is it Morphonica and uh, Razor Sweelan, we can do those. When that extra booster gets done in JP, we can review those. That'd be cool to do. So we got Morphonica, Ras, and then Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins shaping up like pretty okay so far. We haven't seen too many cards, but um, it's uh Meliodas, the Meliodas combo top end looks really dope. Yeah, and they got a lot of good, like, just, like, kind of staple double R profiles uh, in their SP reveals, so looking uh, looking pretty promising, at least. Looking to at least be, like, Adventure Time level, looks like, which is good. So, we're excited for that. You can look forward to a set review. Those always come post-release because of how English work. Won't know all the cards until everything is out. So, look forward to that. But uh, outside of that, I think that's it. Anybody have anything else to say? I, I am going to make that a, uh, the event deck a reality. That's the, that's I, the third sleeper deck for, the, I am, uh, for Slime this meta. I can't wait. Uh, can't wait that. to beat you with it, Carmen. Pittsburgh I'll, lose it. I'll, I'll lose to anything. Pittsburgh Weishford signing off. We'll see you guys in the next one.